Hi, my name is Sjoerd de Vries and I'm going to show you how to quickly edit your recorded simulation, simulation that you recorded in Uperform. Uh, Uperform client I recently opened. As you can see on the right screen, you can see the recorded steps. In the left pane, you will see the bitmap, the screenshot with the bubble text. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is to change uh, the bubble text and the action areas. You review the steps and for example this step is double so uh, I usually click in the application as my first step um, so it's recording it properly but this is an unwanted step so I delete it. Next step I select if it's nicely changed I can also choose for example to make it a little bit nicer because I can see the icon as well in the, uh, in the simulation. Uh, make it as nice as possible because it's cut out here. If it's not fitting, you right click and you click on Auto Size Note. As you can see, the bubble is expanding and you check if the text is correct. For example, I can also make it a little bit shorter. Uh, click Continue to this website and select and don't, don't display the name, not recommended, for example, because it's already in the image. Um, at the next step, you can see that I recorded something like press shift C, but also type in code. So what you see usually is that when you type in something with the capital, that it's also recorded as uh, shift and then type in the capital. So this is also an unnecessary step. So I right click it and delete it. Then I have to fill in, in this sim simulation, my code one account. So I make it nicely fit into the field, for example like this. So in the simulation you have to type in something in here. Okay, type in code 1. I can change the text in the, in the action balloon. For example type code 1 in the user name field. You can also uh, select, uh, you can also type in type code one, etc., instead of uh, in the username field as well, because it's also in the image. But this is very nice. Um, when I record something, uh, let's see. Okay, what I what you see now, maybe you will notice it as well. That sometimes um, when you click onto the next screen doesn't uh, respond. That could be possible that it's happening with you as well. Just go to another tab and go back to the simulation. So I'll not cut this out to this video because you can have the same uh, issue. Okay, I was uh, with step three. Step three was actually clicking in the field or double click in the field. And I usually uh, click in the field during the recording. I don't use the top functionality. Um, but I also delete a step from the recording because the end user will not notice it anyway in the recording. They know they have to click in or, or, or tap to the next field. What is important is what they have to fill it in here. So type in 1234 in the password field. That should be nice. Okay. Um, the next step would be Click the login button. Also tricked it a little bit because this can happen to you as well. Uh, actually it says double click the login. There are two ways to accomplish this. Of course you can change the text, but if you say for example here in the text click login, then still you perform will remember the action as double click. So that's not the ID. Uh, when you have to change the action Afterwards, you just right click on the red rubber band, you select edit action, and here you change your action from double click to left click. You just click on apply. You may wish to regenerate the text. You can even change it here, for example, click login, that's okay, or click the login button, or click button, something like that. I click on OK. If it's not updating directly uh, in the field, that sometimes happens. 
it's not good of course uh, then you better can use the click the login button you can change it here or in the step text okay click the login button it should refresh it here okay um, this one is double now because you already clicked the login button so I changed it here as well and this one is double now this one is double now and the last one is double now because I'm already logged in and this is the end situation where I want the users to be so actually this is it um, you select uh, all the steps you, you review all the steps you delete unwanted objects um, you make the rubber red band on the uh, right area and of course you make a nice tag you, you select the, the appropriate text in the bubble and you can type in uh, anything you want in here um, that's it for now thank you